Hello and welcome to SIBO Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm with KKM Financial. Well, we're seeing the SPX holding on to the upper end of the range, giving up a little ground so far today, but nothing too pronounced. And with that, we're seeing the VIX cash continuing to hold at the lower end of the range. VIX cash right around the 1255 level. You've seen a very tight range for the VIX cash this week as we have now once again seen most of the major averages continuing to build on these price improvements and we're seeing some upward momentum. And with that, we're seeing volatility being reined in. The roll market, let's focus on that. That's the futures market between November, December, $1.60 right now. So pretty significant premium there. We saw it uh, $1.50 last week, so not too much uh, difference. But uh, once again, looking at the premium level in the VIX front month future, I want to point that out because I expect that's going to impact this roll market. We have uh, VIX expiration post regular expiration. No, next week is expiration. Uh, for the SPX, VIX expiration will be, I believe, eight days from now, so uh, a week from Wednesday. And so when you look at the premium levels, we got $2 of premium between the VIX cash and the VIX future. So something's got to give there in the next uh, eight trading days or so. So I would expect that that's a part of the reason why we're seeing the VVIX elevated. VVIX, measure implied volatility on those VIX options, around 90. Um, now that has bottomed about, about two weeks ago, and we are seeing it actually driving higher here. And part of the reason is because we're going into these levels where we're seeing some put action, looking at the activity on the puts uh, this week and, and just in general, open interest. Look at the November open interest, November 14 puts, big open interest there, November 13 half puts, big open interest there. Remember that future is right around this 1460 level, so they have to fall into those strikes. Also, let's point out realized volatility, again, continuing to be constrained when you look at the SPX. So short dated realized volatility now well below 10. We're looking at six on the 10 day realized volatility. So again, that's a part of the reason why we're seeing that VIX cash maintain again this 1250, 1260 level. Next week, PPI, CPI, retail sales uh, are going to be the headlines. Trade talks are going to continue to uh, influence the vol structure as well. And expiration for most of the major indexes outside of the VIX is next week.